Hello there, I'm Eric Reno, and this is a video for tipsquirrel.com, the free website for everything Photoshop. In this video, I'll be looking at how Ravel now synchronizes with Photoshop Elements 12. Let's jump in and see how it's done. So here we go. We're going to start with my iPhone here, but it does work on Android as well. I'm going to go into my Adobe apps and then into Ravel. And sure enough, up it comes, and here's my photographs, all in a nice tiled list. Now we can also see that I've got 57 photographs here. I'm up to date as far as cloud goes, more of that in just a second. And I've got 48 uploads remaining. For as a free account, I get 50 uploads a month. So it's just started the month, so I've got 48. Now this up to date via the cloud now, everything is synced via cloud computing with Ravel, which is really helpful because no connection to your computer is needed for us to get these images into Photoshop Elements 12, which is very helpful indeed. Now, when I first saw this being demonstrated, someone asked, why use this bespoke cloud computing? Why not just use something you already use, like Dropbox? Well, here's my take on it. This is horses for courses. If you use Ravel, you're only going to be uploading photographs and videos. There'll be no spreadsheets or Word documents or anything else lurking around. And Ravel reads that and sorts them out perfectly. It really does work very, very well. It doesn't try and be more than it should be. It is what it is, and it does it very, very well indeed. Okay, let's move on. I'm going to go over to this middle icon here, and you'll see that I've organized these into albums now this is very easy you just tap on a photograph and say i'd like it in the album yorkshire as we see on screen at the moment but you can see i've got different ones and they've all got a photograph on the front to illustrate what that album is whether it be bird fair as you can see there my grandchildren or days out and of course nitro the cat why wouldn't i have pictures of nitro the cat on my phone and all kinds of things so uh, let's go down to out and about I'm going to click on that, just tap it with my finger, and then everything that's in that album comes up, and I'm just sliding it around to have a look. Let's take a look at one of the images here. It's just a simple path through a wood. I was out for a walk one day. But you notice we get other icons. We can play this as a little slideshow, and it plays everything that's in that album, which is quite nice if you want to show your friends how you saw a couple of odd signs. It was research. Let's, let's say that. If it's not art, it's research. Let's go back again, and I'm going to tap on, whoops, not that one, back onto my path here. I can also see that I've got this little icon, the black and white triangles there, and now I've got some filters that I can put over the top. So I can bring these along. Now the one I like for this particular image is sort of down here somewhere. Is it a sepia tone? Nope. Memory. There we go. Gives it a nice little feel to it. But there's all kinds of things for you to play with in there. Let's go back to normal. Next slider along from there are these sliders. And you can see that we can change temperature and tint and exposure and highlights. But if we go right to the right, oh, look what we've got here. Clarity. You may remember that from Adobe Camera Raw. Now, if we bring that up. Oh, hello. There we go. Look at that. And a bit of vibrance. Now, they're very nice. Perfect. Lovely. I do like clarity. Let's bring that down for now though. I'll fiddle about with that again a bit later. We can get rid of red eye and we can crop as well. All kinds of things you can do in here. I'll let you have a bit of an explore. Let's close that one down for now. Right, so there's my album, but let's go over to Photoshop Elements 12. In fact, let's go to the organizer of Photoshop Elements and see what's happening there. So here we are, we're in Photoshop Elements 12 Organizer, and you can see I've got all my pictures up here that have come from my mobile albums. And it's over here, look. If I twirl this open, you can see that this perfectly reflects what was going on in Ravel, which is really helpful. And sure enough, if I click on Out and About, there's the pictures that we saw, including our pathway there that we had a little bit of fiddle with. The one I want to look at here though is number 18 these yellow lines let's take a look at those it's nice but what i could do with is a bit of a bit of burning in i think which isn't available as part of the ravel app but i could be doing of course all kinds of things within photoshop elements 
So I'm going to click on that and then on Editor and it opens it up in Photoshop Elements and I can very quickly put in a Levels Adjustment. Let's tidy that one up a little bit. That's better. That's good. And then let's go back onto my background and rather nauseously on my background I'm going to just burn this a little bit just to bring this in just a little. There we go. Okay, I'm happy with that. I'm all done. Let's close that, make it all nice and neat. File and save. It's going to ask me what I want to save it as. I'm going to call it lines, I think. There we go. And click save. And off it goes. Now let's go back to organizer. We're going to see a couple of things here. First of all, this red line going across means it's being worked on at the moment. So you can't click on it or do anything. So let's go back to the editor for now. And then we can close that down. And sure enough, our red line's gone. Also, what we see is this here. It says it's got a version set. So if I click on this icon to the right, you'll see that it opens up. And sure enough, I've got two versions of this image, the original and my new one with the burning going on. That's quite helpful. It doesn't overwrite it. It just adds it into a stack. Right, let's over, head over to Ravel and see what's going on there. So here we are back in Ravel and I'm going to go to my out and about and scooch down a little bit. And sure enough, there we go. We've got our two images of our lines synced up. Now this video may have faded out to black and back in again, but actually it only took a matter of seconds for it to be updated. The only reason why I faded out like that was to make it a bit more smooth for you as the viewer. And literally was seconds, about 10 seconds for it to update completely. And there it is. There's my new burnt image. Okay. That's Ravel and Photoshop Elements 12 working together seamlessly. I'm Eric Renault. Thank you very much for joining me. I'll see you again next time. Bye-bye for now.